Proper maintenance of your immersion and ultrasonic tank or your spray wash system will ensure the longest possible detergent tank life, the best parts cleaning performance, and the optimal assurance against part corrosion. Throughout this video we will discuss the recommended steps for maintaining your Brulin aqueous detergent tank as used in parts cleaning processes. This video will outline the procedures called for in the process, including pH check, concentration check, and performance check, and will explain how to employ these in your cleaning process. Be sure to reference the Brulin supplied maintenance guidelines for aqueous detergent tanks and tank maintenance flowchart as you follow along with this video. Use the flowchart as an outline of how to monitor and control your detergent tank. The flowchart neatly summarizes the considerations for control in your process and is suitable as a shop floor reference. Flowchart values should be filled in prior to beginning operations based on the tank maintenance guidelines and the information on the product technical data sheet, also known as a brand sheet. Target concentration, including upper control limit and lower control limit, must be established based on the requirements of your cleaning process. As a starting point, each Brulin process detergent has a suggested concentration range on its product brand sheet, referred to as dilution. The typical dilution can act as the target concentration. This concentration might be adjusted to reflect particular specifications by the advice of your Brulin representative and or experience testing or operating the cleaning process. For the pH check procedure, choose a control limit based on Brulin's recommendation of above 9.5 for cleaning aluminum to avoid corrosion and above 9.0 when cleaning other substrates. Consult your Brulin representative for pH recommendations when dealing with magnesium substrates. There is no control limit for the aqueous pH neutral detergents. The pH check for these pH neutral detergents is to monitor for consistency of detergent tank conditions. Record the pH and proceed to the concentration check. The control range for the concentration check procedure can generally be determined as plus or minus 2% of the target concentration. For example, if the target is 10%, then use 8 to 12% as the control range. Unless specified otherwise, use this equation. Limits for the performance check procedure will vary depending on the test method chosen. Step 1 of the tank maintenance process is the pH check procedure. Brulin recommends monitoring the pH of the tank to verify that it is in the safe operational range by using precision paper method A. Check the pH at least once a day. It may be more frequent for cleaning systems with high throughput and or continuous use. If you are working with a highly discolored cleaning solution or your facility has a fully equipped laboratory, you should use a calibrated pH meter. Begin the step by obtaining a test sample of the tank solution. Allow the solution to cool to room temperature. The temperature of the sample will affect pH reading. Using a standard pH indicator strip, dip the pH paper into the sample for 3 to 5 seconds. Pull out the strip and compare the color of the test strip against the color chart. Record the pH reading from the chart and the temperature of the sample solution in your maintenance log. Confirm the pH is above the control limit. If it is not above the control limit, it is advisable to consider changing the detergent solution. If the pH is above the control limit, proceed to concentration check. The next step is the concentration check procedure. Brulin recommends using the Lamotte drop counting method as the simplest shop floor method to monitor and control detergent concentration. Test concentration at the same time you are testing the pH. First, determine the required test sample size and the number of drops of indicator and correction factor from Brulin's test kit instruction sheet, maintenance guidelines document, or product brand sheet. Obtain a sample of tank solution and allow it to cool to room temperature. Measure out the specified sample size into the provided test tube. Using the drop counting method, add the required number of drops of indicator to the sample and swirl to mix thoroughly. You should have a purple-blue color in the mixture. 
Hold the provided hydrochloric acid bottle vertically upside down and add to the sample, drop by drop, swirling the solution after each drop. Count the number of drops it takes to change the color from purple blue to yellow. When you add a drop and the solution doesn't get any more yellow, do not count that last drop. Calculate the concentration of tank solution by using the following equation. Concentration equals number of hydrochloric acid drops times the correction factor. Detergent concentration in the tank can decrease due to the normal consumption of detergent by soils. The tank liquid level will also decrease due to evaporation or drag out of liquid with the washed parts. The detergent concentration and liquid level in the tank can be corrected by adding detergent concentrate and or process water. Rulin provides two worksheets to simplify these calculations. Simply add your data and follow the worksheet line by line. If you use the Excel spreadsheet, the math is calculated automatically. Use worksheet 1 to calculate add back to increase concentration by adding detergent concentrate. Use worksheet 2 to calculate the add back to reduce the concentration by adding water. Verify the titration method, chemicals, and calculation by testing a known concentration sample. If greater precision is needed or you're having issues with heavily soiled solution and you have access to a fully equipped laboratory, use a burette titration setup. Finally, in order to ensure optimum tank condition, you will do a performance check. Brulin recommends that each cleaning operation establish a standard test method for a weekly performance check to verify cleaning and corrosion protection efficacy. The test piece should be representative to the soil type, soil loading, material alloy type, and sensitivity to corrosion encountered in the actual wash operation. Each operation should use the test methods that are most relevant to the customer or part requirements. There are a wide variety of tests available depending on the requirements of your industry, the parts you are washing, or other factors. As an example, we will detail the water break test for cleanliness and metal staining test for corrosion. Other corrosion test options include stock loss and end-grained pitting. Begin by selecting a flat panel made of the similar alloy as found in the manufacturing process. Soil the test panel with similar soils as found in the manufacturing process. Clean and rinse the test panel and the process tank under the same control parameters. Cool to room temperature. Do not oven dry parts. Evaluate cleanliness with a water break test. Immerse the test panel in a container of room temperature distilled or deionized water. Do not use softened or hard water. Next, lift the test panel vertically from the container and allow it to drain while looking for breaks in the film of water as it sheets off the part. Record the number of seconds it takes for the water to break the uniform film. Surface roughness can affect the break time. Evaluate corrosion with a metal staining test. Thoroughly air dry the clean test panel. Do not oven dry parts. Inspect for and record signs of discoloration, rust, and or pitting, and compare against established reference samples. Each operation should establish pass or fail criteria for cleanliness and corrosion performance that corresponds to the requirements of the parts. The choice of when to change a detergent tank is important. The ultimate indication of the end of detergent life is when it no longer cleans or no longer protects the substrates adequately, regardless of the tank pH and concentration measurements. Detergent tank life should be consistent from one tank recharging to the next. Of course, any changes in parts, soils, throughput, and operation conditions will change the detergent tank life. So each operation unit should maintain a good record of change out frequency of a particular tank. When concentration pH and performance checks suggest changing the tank, also check that the age of the detergent is typical. By monitoring the pH, concentration, and performance of your alkaline detergent tank, and following the previously described control sequence, you can ensure the best results in your cleaning process.
For more information on general tank maintenance or consultation about how to tune up your parts cleaning process, contact your Brulin representative.